if I'm wearing slippers, he will just scream at me in the most annoying sounds until I give him a slipper. He doesn't care about the person, he just wants their feet. He definitely puts on a performance every time he sees feet or slippers. <laughs> what are you doing? And sometimes it's to the point where if I've got friends over, I have to put him in the cage. Sir, you're making me feel uncomfortable. I got him as a friend for a lorikeet that I rescued. Before him, I didn't have a lot of experience with birds. But he's native to my area, and so it's actually very easy to look after him. And after my other bird passed away, I just kept him. My first lorikeet, she was so quiet, so I wasn't really aware of what I was signing up for. What are you doing in there? Can you come out, please? That he's just pretty much a toddler with a beak. Don't eat it. He knows what he wants and he knows how to get it by annoying me until I give up. He can also be really, really cute and really cuddly. They have a pretty specialised diet because their diet is so high in sugar which I think is why that they're a bit crazy. They're just always on this crazy sugar high. <laughs> also, I don't think he identifies himself as a bird. He gets very scared of other birds. And he's scared of flying, so he doesn't really fly. I do want to get him a friend, but I'm not really sure if he'll actually identify that bird as something that he can bond with rather than feet. <laughs> he was much happier just being with me. So I'd make sure I spend a lot of time with him. Make sure that he's getting his social needs met. It's just been really good to have a bird he makes me smile every day with his crazy antics. We're not doing this. We're not doing it. He keeps me on in my toes. When he's doing his dance, I think it's quite funny. Most people get a little bit freaked out, but he really just wants to dance for the feet. I really could not imagine life without him now. <laughs>